I'm with my friend and fellow Keller Williams agent, Anna Perez McKenzie. Anna, thanks for coming out again. Thank you, Charles, for inviting me. Today, we're going to talk about the five reasons why condo versus home in Austin. And to clarify, when we say condo, we're not necessarily talking about the penthouse on one of the high rises downtown. We're talking about no matter what your budget might be is that you could buy either a condo or a house for about the same kind of money. Exactly. We're talking about comparably priced. What's the advantage of one over the other? Okay. You want me to start? Well, either that or you can start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll start. So she talked to me. You're the condo expert. Okay, so, so number one is condos, specifically downtown condos, offer the lifestyle. Depending upon which one you might purchase in, you have the ability to literally right outside your front door and you're at the hike and bike trails or right off of 6th Street or, you know, with the, all of the entertainment, something comes to town, you're not fighting traffic. You know, you could be part of it or escape your little hideaway up on the 30th floor, you know. Yeah. So that is the huge draw of living in a condo, particularly downtown, is that you're literally right in the middle of all that makes Austin what it is. Exactly. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Okay. I think that condos in downtown Austin, Right. I mean, I went to go see The Independent. I thought it was amazing. Right. Uh, but what I thought was the perk is that you're in the middle of everything. You have Zilker Park, you have the lake right there. So all you gotta do is just go down, walk a few minutes or ride your bike to the lake and mm -hmm. you're there. Or you could go catch a concert Exactly. You know, at ACL Live right there, or you could go to the Elephant Room, which is on Congress. You just have everything there. So the right lifestyle there. is, it's all in one lifestyle, mm. Austin lifestyle, but it's a little bit costy. Well, again, as we're making the distinction, uh, we're, we're comparing comparably priced. Right. Independent is on the higher end okay. of the price spectrum. But there are condos, and typically what you'll find is, is an older building. I'm not talking about 1950. I'm talking about 2008 versus 2021. Okay. Is that you might be looking at potentially half the cost. Instead of a million dollars for a one bedroom, you might be in that $500,000 price range. Okay. Which again, comparing that to houses, is that you can buy a house pretty much anywhere in Austin in that 500 range. You can. Now, if your budget is lower, I mean, if you want to get into the four. 300 even, you might not necessarily be right downtown, but there are like like uh, Hyde Park, Allendale. I mean, there are some older buildings there. We could get like condos in the 300s. Yeah, those are so, those are cute and they're not that far. Hyde no, Park is I mean, a great, it's, it's, yeah. it's still close. It's not, you're not on the river. Right. You know, you're in the downtown area. And Hyde Park is a bit walkable. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's got the walkability to it. I also, I think, um, East Austin is a great East, neighborhood. East. I love East Austin. And I think that if you have a condo in downtown area, East Austin area, it's great because you have walkability and you have, mm. it's just the condo, it's the, the Austin lifestyle if you're moving here for right, that. Right. Versus a home. Now, if you can find a home for 500 in East Austin. Well, th that would be the distinction. Depending upon your budget, you're going to be looking in, in different areas. Right. And the lower that budget might be, likely the further out from the urban core you'd have exactly. to go. Exactly. I think there are townhomes. I've seen townhomes. Yeah, and again, I don't want to get in necessarily to, to kind of, because pr prices are, we all know this, right, in this kind of resetting right. phase. But again, closer to downtown, the higher the price point. For the purpose of this comparison, let's say if we're looking at a $500,000 condo downtown, we could buy a house somewhere. And right. I'm, th I'm thinking that like, let's say the Round Rock, Cedar Park, Leander area, you could get a pretty nice house at around at around 500. Buda, Kyle. Buda, Kyle, Kyle South, exactly. correct. Exactly, yeah, you get a great house. Yeah. Um, also, it could be a new house, you can get a new house. There you go. Um, I think the number, like another, the number two mm. for condos, amenities. The amenities are just amazing. The, 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 the independent had I mean, the, the pool, the common the common areas, the rec room yeah. and all that. If I lived there, I wouldn't come out of that place in a, in a month. And who, who cleans it? Who, cleans? <laughs> who would clean what? The, who, I you, don't clean it. Exactly. That's my point. <laughs> that's, that's, that's part of it. That's part I of don't the do plus. The, I don't do anything in the garden. Everything is done for us. That's, so that's, the, that's the point is that the, the plus is in the condo, somebody else takes care of it. And that somebody that takes care of it keeps that looking like 
Yes. Beautiful. And all I, the time. And the end, I mean, I love the independent. It's an industrial type yeah. chic. Yeah. You know, it's it's a really cool place. So I think amenities. Amenities. Uh, location, location. 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 Um, uh, what else? If we're, if we're going to consider location and amenities a plus, is they come with a price tag that's attached. In, in a condo, you're going to have a much higher HOA fee than you would in any subdivision. Independent? $1,200 yeah, a month. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's over 1000 $1,200 a month for the HOA fee. It's a whole mortgage in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> well, true. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 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 definitely a different price range because because figure that out. Okay, if you walked in the independent and had one and a half two million dollars, I want to pay cash. Right. You would have not only that twelve hundred dollars a month in HOA, but you also have close to probably thirty grand a year in taxes. So you work that out on a monthly basis. That's something like thirty five hundred to four thousand dollars. So the independent for somebody that is very wealthy. <laughs> well, yeah. different uh, different price range. Yeah, and I was and I actually saw the the components of who lives there when I was there. So you have the, and I was talking to the, the, the valet there and she was she's very good valet, the oh, concierge, because they have a concierge well, service. you don't have that one in Buda. Yeah, she was, she was amazing. And she said, you either have the Gen Z's millennials that are, you know, high tech executives, or you have uh, empty nesters. So you have those two groups, which are the ones that live in the independent. Which actually, if we're talking about advantages, disadvantages, that probably is one to remember, is that you talked about two demographics that don't have children. Exactly. And that living in a downtown condo might be a little restrictive if you've got particularly smaller kids that want to get out and play and all that, which again, why suburbs like Buda or exactly. Round Rock or Leander. And school attractive. districts. School districts, mm -hmm. kind of important. Well, very important. Yeah, because downtown area, I don't know. How the, what schools? I, I would venture to guess that if I had kids and I lived in the independent, I probably would find a pretty decent private school. Yeah, uh, they would. They is, would probably I mean, have what, to. What do they do? What do they do in New York? You know. They, exactly. Yeah, we're we're kind of evolving into a New York kind of kind of with style. The with a, I mean, Texas usually goes out, but we're beginning to kind of yeah the density things. So. Even I've five after being here five years, I've seen so many buildings go be built. It's it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I have a graphic on that. Really transformative. It's really if you go all the way back to like the seventies or even into the fifties, it's like it's it's night and day. Right. How much development, but okay. okay so the no children on no children the home side. Well, if you have children, it's likely going to be more appealing to live in a home. Yeah. In a subdivision where you've got playgrounds where they have access to, definitely, you know, maybe team sports or something like that. Not to mention school districts where yeah, exactly. they're going to usually higher rated than you get in, in, the, in the urban areas. Or um, también, I, I, or también, I'm speaking Spanish here, Spanish. Oh. Or also, um, we could, if you're an investor, I think it's a good thing to invest in an apartment, like you know, a condo for like the the independent because you'd make a lot of money renting it out because well, rents have gone up 108 percent and i think you would i mean i was i was showing a, a client for right. rent right. and they were six thousand up yeah what you wanted a two bedroom went to, went i think it would be a good investment buy a condo okay how many do you want uh i would like 10 please <laughs> 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 well, i think at some point you'd have to pay for it <laughs> Let me see, HOA, yeah. the cost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you'd make it out uh, the, yeah. the, the what you're getting rent. I mean, if you're getting 6,000 plus. Well, the other side of it is they do limit the amount or the number of units in a particular building that, that can, can be, rented. be rented. Okay. Um, they're trying to kind of adopt similar things in uh, neighborhoods, especially like new builds. Right. Because the idea of if I'm going to buy a brand new house and then the whole street is renters, right? Mm -hmm. But Texas very much values the, you know, the, the, the rights of the homeowner. So, I mean, it's kind of difficult to enforce right. that. But if it's written in the HOA documents, then it becomes. And I have seen that with uh, new homes. A lot of the builders to, are, yeah. you know, when I call them, they're, they want to know if it's an investor mm -hmm. or a company or families, yeah. which I think that's unique. I want a family living next to me if I have a home. The, the other side of that, that's something they definitely implemented during the boom, but is there seeing that buyer demand 
decrease? Is that I've actually seen uh, builders say, okay, we're open to investors now. Ooh, you know, so. Watch out. Don't say that too loud. Blackwater. Is it Blackwater? Blackwater. Is it uh, that company that's buying all the homes? Oh, wow. <laughs> the, the, yeah. the, um, the Wall Street company that everybody's yeah. so angry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> that are coming they, in and buying up all the homes. It's, you would think that if somebody's buying that many homes is that they, they must like the returns they get on real estate. Apparently. But remember, that only works if there's enough renters. But see, that's when it comes back to what I've always said, buy. Because if the, if, if the biggest investors of Wall Street have, you know, they're onto something because they're buying homes, and that's, exa- that's what they're using for their investment funds is buy up all the homes. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've covered Close to we we probably have five in there. I, I think we had we had one more. Yeah, one more. Was, yeah, for uh, condos, but I can't think of of the fifth one. You can't think of the fifth condo. No, I can't think of the fifth reason why we want to buy a condo. You just don't like condos. Probably not. I, mean, I think you got some kind of. I got something. I got, it's, something. Unless it's the unless it's the independent. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah, she wants the independent. So, um, well. To sum up, I, what I remember us talking about is location amenities, a plus on the condo side, school districts, and of course, families, definitely a plus on the buy side. Right. Uh, the ability to, we didn't really talk about it, but I think we talked around it, the, or the amount of kind of personal space you would have in a home versus a condo, because, I mean, you talk about right. community common areas, whereas in a home, I've got my own backyard. Yeah. That's usually going to have a fence, <laughs> you know, that I can kind of do my barbecue and all that, um, or a larger um, home office or things like that that come with owning a home. Right. So again, depending upon lifestyle, because I think that's the key thing, is that either one of those could be perceived as a plus. Yeah. I think we talked about this before we we started filming today. Is that during before the pandemic, a lot of people put a a value on the urban living, of but course. as they got locked down. It, I think it's definitely transformed the way people are working today. They say that. Yeah. I think it's definitely because a lot of people are working from home, except for the people that work at Tesla. Well, that's, that's, what, I, <laughs> that's what I was getting to because, okay, so, 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 so let me get this straight. So not, not only has he like basically invented industries, but he's now currently the richest man in the world. And when he says that he thinks people are growing lazy with the work from home, Everybody who's working from home says he's wrong, but, but the, no, other not, not, companies are beginning to kind of figure out there might be something to it. No, but the productivity data says that when you work from home, you're you're more productive. Yeah, you're probably. So doing I think he's for that. he's uh, he's I, I don't know. Sometimes he's full of BS. Oh, you don't like him? I like him, but I'm you know I'm a realist. A realist. Yeah, I see him for what he is. I mean, did you see that young, that uh, older gentleman that has uh, his um, charging stands Warren in the middle Buffett? of somewhere? No, he's, it's an older gentleman that did. A, they did a video old. on him. Yeah. It's a, it's a, just a normal what old man that has a gas station in the middle of nowhere, and they have charging stations, and he hadn't paid him for six months. Who hadn't paid him? T- Tesla. Oh. And paid him. Well, that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. So those are the things that you know. It's like if you're the richest man in the world, and you you know pay your pay your bills. Well, I mean, pay I don't, this I don't this know. this humble old man. He's like, please, because somebody went there to charge their Tesla, and he had him covered up. Oh, he wouldn't let him. He, he wouldn't let anybody. Paid. He wouldn't letting you know. He said, "I'm not doing it anymore until they come here and they pay me. They haven't paid me for six months." Okay, so that uh, that pretty much covers it. So we've talked about the um, the five reasons why condo versus uh, home. And if you've got any questions at all, don't, feel free to reach out. Our contact information is at the in the description of this video. If you got any comments on the video itself, please. That's that's how we get feedback. If there's any um, topics you'd like to see covered, if you'd like to see us do something else, just let us know.